Hey everyone, it's Rhiannon. Today we're laser engraving cork, a material that pops up all the time when you're looking for laser safe blanks. It's cheap, easy to find, and as we've learned from testing, it can be marked with all kinds of lasers, making it a great material to keep in stock. Also huge thanks to Johnson Plastics Plus for sponsoring this video and sending us all the cork. Make sure you like and subscribe if you find this content helpful. With that said, let's get into it. I first started with the UV laser, since we recently did a bunch of testing on it to release the UV library on the Laser Master Academy and Patreon. We already had a setting that worked well on cork, so I threw it on the coaster using a cute little camping design from Design Bundles, which I'll also link below. The UV actually did a great job. The result was clean, consistent, and as usual, you can see all the tiny details in the design. It also wasn't super slow. This coaster took about five minutes. The only downside is that the mark isn't the dark Darkest. It doesn't have a ton of contrast compared to the other lasers, but it still looks really nice. After the UV, we thought we'd give the fiber a try. Since fibers are typically used for metals, we didn't expect much, but after some trial and error, we dialed in a setting that actually worked. This one surprised us the most. The texture of the cork caused some small gaps in the engraving, but it gave the design kind of a rugged charm, and it ended up being the darkest mark of all the lasers without setting the coaster completely on fire. So if you want a black mark or fiber is all you've got, cork is still totally doable. Next up is the CO2 Galvo. This one needed some additional testing as the machine burns hot. In the end, we found two settings that both Alex and I thought looked pretty solid. The dark setting gave us really nice contrast. It's super dark, but it did have a bit of charring in spots. We used flood fill, which helped, but you can still see some of the laser path lines in the design. On the larger pot holder, the text came out crisp, but the RV in the ground had some inconsistency in the darkness. We actually liked the lighter setting more. While the design had some gaps like the fiber laser, it felt more natural. You could still see the texture of the cork, which gave it some character. This setting might not be great for clean logos, but it works well for more rustic and organic designs. We also tested it on the larger pot holder with multiple passes, and it looked similar to the coaster. After the Galvos, we moved on to the gantry style lasers. We started with the diode laser using the Ortur LM3, and I personally thought this left the best mark. It gave us a deep, warm brown mark, nicely contrasted without looking burnt, and it was super consistent across the design. It took around 10 minutes to engrave the coaster, which isn't bad, but could add up if you're doing a large order. For one-offs though, I personally think the diode is the best option for cork. Lastly, we engraved one of the pot holders on the CO2 gantry, as we didn't have any more coasters. The Mirror 9 always does pretty well, but this time it disappointed us a bit. We noticed some weird inconsistencies in color, like the bottom word being darker than the top. And we're not totally sure why. Maybe something like an exhaust issue or dirty lens could have caused this. Still, despite the uneven color, the design came out clean and pretty dark overall. As you can see, we got some solid results across the board, even with the fiber. Like bamboo, cork has a lot of variable texture, which can lead to inconsistent marks, and it's also very easy to burn, which we definitely managed to do a few times while testing. The diode laser probably gave us the best, most consistent result, but it's a little slow for bulk jobs. The fiber came in last, but hey, it still worked. And the Galvo and Gantry CO2 lasers did great too. It really just comes down to what equipment you have or what look you're going for. As I mentioned earlier, all the camping themed designs we used came from design bundles, and I'll leave the link to those down in the description. Thanks again to Johnson Plastics Plus for sending the cork and to all of you for watching. And of course, huge shout out to the Laser Master Academy members. You make it possible for us to keep experimenting and sharing what we learn. If you've tried cork on your own machines, let us know what settings worked for you down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we post our next video. And we'll see you in the next one.